We describe the procedure of creating a surgical tent in step-by-step -step manner in following video in a simulated setting. Please note that the theater team is not wearing correct level of uh, PPE. It is mandatory to wear appropriate PPE for surgeons and the rest of the team. We recommend surgical cap FFP3 mask with a visor or PAPR hood, two gowns and double gloves. It is important to follow correct donning and doffing procedure meticulously supervised by a designated buddy. Hello, I'm uh, Ashok Brokde, consultant uh, endoscopic sinus surgeon from Hampshire Hospital, Winchester, uh, UK. Performing endoscopic sinus surgery in uh, COVID era carries a significant risk of aerosol generation. We're going to offer today one of the solutions on minimizing this risk although we cannot eliminate it altogether. So our idea is about creating a tent around the patient and operating within that tent so that the aerosol exposure is minimized. So once the patient is anesthetized, uh, fully draped and positioned, uh, we place this uh, bar, L-shaped bar, which helps to create a tent. This bar is then covered uh, with uh, sterile uh, drip. We, tend, we create a tent using a microscope drip. It has a favorable openings to perform the endoscopic sinus surgical uh, procedure. It has a three eyepiece attachments. So one of these attachments, we make a slit, which can be used to feed the light cable and uh, camera where you can attach the endoscope internally. Then the other eyepiece attachments, they can be slit and uh, you can slide each arm through that. Once you slide the arm, then you can uh, put some sterile adhesive drape around it. So your arms are front, uh, firmly within the drape. And it also has an attachment for you to cover the lens, which acts as a port. Once we remove the lens cap, you can feed the bipolar, then uh, micro debrider and uh, suction through that and then flip it around it. So that uh, creates uh, a seal around all these uh, cables. All the required instruments, they can be placed inside this tent by on a magnetic uh, mat which you can place on the patient chest. You can also use uh, the bipolar sleeve or by the side of this table, which has uh, three pouches. You can use uh, the, the micro debrider, the bipolar in those pouches, and the instruments are here. We are limited in how many instruments we can put, use, but uh, remember this is an uh, emergency sinus surgical procedure and not a routine extensive sinus surgery. So you can hold the eyepiece attachments, uh, spread them away and then make a slit uh, in between them. Once we open the slit, you can slide your arm through the slit or the gown as much as you can. And once you're through, you can secure it around your arm. So then your arm is free within this tent uh, to work. So the eyepiece attachment, we made a slit uh, in the middle. Through that slit, I'm going to slide my hand up to my arm. Then this is uh, close with the adhesive straps within the drape. So my both our hands uh, now are under the tent. They are freely mobile. I've already put my endoscope, light cable and the camera inside. So you attach the camera in the tent, the light cable which has been fed to 
uh, another uh, IPS attachment. So to minimize the aerosol exposure, we have used microscope drape as a tent. So the microscope drape has uh, different ports and attachments. So it has uh, three attachments for the eyepiece. So the top attachment, we have made a slit in between the two eyepieces and fed the cables through. It is secured around the tape to achieve a seal. Then the other two attachments we have used to slide my hands through and then secured it uh, with the tape. So my hands are completely free within the tent to operate. All the instruments are already laid out on a magnetic mat which is placed on the patient's chest. And I got additional uh, instruments uh, kept in the bipolar sleeve by the side of my table. Then there is another uh, port on the drape. Most of the times I'll be picking up my own instruments and uh, using it. However, if I require any uh, assistance, my uh, nursing scrub assistant can still pick up the instruments uh, externally and uh, hand it over to me. So that is still possible. Say so for example, if I want a suction, I can, ask, can I have a suction please? So from outside, they can pick up the suction and then you can go through it. So you will still have a, a minimum level of uh, assistance uh, going on. So you can pick up the instruments and perform basic sinusurgical procedure. So this is not full seal, but at least it provides uh, uh, some protection against uh, uh, the aerosols. Dwarfing, that is removing this tent uh, in a safe manner is critical. So we suggest that the surgeon wears two gowns. So this, the whole of this tent is uh, removed along with the outer gown so as to minimize the uh, aerosol uh, exposure. Doffing is important, so we have, the surgeon is wearing two gowns, the outer gown comes out, uh, the assistant rolls it out, the outer gown, 